I'm gonna show you how to take beautiful, vintage, hand-drawn graphite hill shading, register it geographically, and then use underlying imagery to dynamically tint the terrain, kind of like they do with vintage photos. Before GIS, terrain artists would have to create hill shades using graphite and their minds. And some artists still do. The Shaded Relief Archive makes available many of these amazing works of geographic art, generously curated and maintained by Tom Patterson. I'll take a look at the Grand Teton image created by Bill von Allman for the National Park Service sometime in 1983. Now this image is not georeferenced, which means it's just a photograph of pixels. It doesn't know it's a map and it doesn't know where it belongs on the surface of the earth. Let's give it some geographic belonging. I'll just download it and there it is. Now here we are in ArcGIS Pro with a luscious world imagery base map active. And if I add this hill shade, doesn't really know where it's supposed to go, of course. Let's see where it did end up. Null Island. I'm going to activate an amazing tool called GeoReference. GeoReference helps us breathe spatial life into an otherwise non-spatial image. I'll zoom back to the image and I'll add some control points which is kind of like sticking pins in a rubber sheet to stretch the image to tell it where to go. I'll start with some distinctive features like the tip of this lake. And I'll pin it to its real world location. I'll go back to the image and add another control point. I'll choose this little hillock in the south. Now the image has a sense of where it belongs. We can give it some transparency so we can see through it to the underlying base map. And we are pretty close already. I'll just fine tune it with a couple new pins. I think we got lucky. I'll just save this and close the georeference tool. Now this image is stretched and warped according to some geographic information and I can project it into anything that I want. It knows where it belongs. We've breathed spatial life into it. So let's return this image's transparency all the way back to zero and we've got a grayscale image that knows where it lives on the surface of the earth. Now we'll use a blend mode to dynamically tint this grayscale image based on the colors of the underlying base map imagery. I'll use the luminosity blend mode. Now we have this glorious hand tinted appearing effect applied to this grayscale terrain. Now I'll add some reference layers so we have a sense for what's where. I'll add data and I'll choose living atlas and search for human geography. I'll choose the detail layer, which is roads and boundaries, and the label layer, which is labels. And I'll drag them above our image. Now I have a sense for the features in this location. I'm gonna use another blend mode to make these layers look like they belong. With the human geography detail selected, I'll go to the appearance tab and I'll choose color burn. Now I've baked in these reference layers and they look like they visually belong. And because the effect is dynamic, we can zoom in and out and the new base map imagery will continue to tint this terrain. Thank you, Mr. Von Allman.